Shown him about 22 different looks already in five rounds. Good jab. That's how you push off that jab. I think he caught that left hand, though. He sat right there and took a picture. He admired his work. Yep, this is a good learning lesson for him because this guy can't knock him out necessarily, but he's teaching that you can't sit there and admire your work because you get caught. Exactly. Let's see if he can set up that straight left. That was maybe his best punch so far of the bout that Roy predicted a little bit earlier in the fight. So we're going to head to the final round. Uh, last and final round. Gomez working for it tonight. He had three finishes in the first round, one in the third. Coming into this, his fifth pro fight. And this is the most educational one out of all of them so far for him. He need, and this is the most educational one out of all of them so far for him. He needs more of these because it teaches him that you're not going to knock everybody out. And when they learn that at an early state, they can quit going out looking for the knockout and now start focusing on how many times can I hit this guy per round. That's what boxing is all about. Hit and not get hit. And that also ends up leading to knockouts when you do it right and you build up to it. I mean, now they're looking for it. They're going to be able to go back and put this fight. I knew I was going to hurt my hand less than your ball. I knew I was going to hurt my hand on Lester Yarbrough's head because he can't beat me, He's up, but, but you can't knock him out. Yeah. You can hit him with a ring pose. He ain't right. going nowhere. Yeah, right. So I said, why are you going to really fight him? Going, and sure enough, it messed up my knuckle. My knuckle stayed up, stayed messed up several years behind it because I'm going to hit him with everything, but he's not going nowhere. This guy's the same. He's not going nowhere. Right, uh, right. Yeah. But for those young fighters that just heard that, if you, if he's, if you head hunting, and you can't hurt him and knock him out. You've got to go to that body, soften him up a little bit. Then those head shots might be able to head and body. Right. I'll right. hit you as much as I possibly can. And I know he's not going nowhere. Right. He yeah. can't beat me, but he's not going nowhere. Check so I'm going to be beating him all night. And some of those shots, I set him up to the point where I can't turn it down. Yep. Right. <laughs> it looks too good. I can't turn it down. You know I mean? <laughs> And, and, and the thing about this guy, this guy Williams here too, it's hard to get to his body because he falls in with his head so much. You might get headbutted trying to get to his body. So it's all the more frustrating for for Jacob Gomez. Now, if he's doing that, how about how about bringing that uppercut up as he's ducking his head? You can meet him with that punch. That's the thing. This guy sometimes he ducks his head, ducks his head, comes up with his own uppercut. <laughs> then he ducks. And the next time he'll duck his head and come up with an overhand right there. You know what I mean? Like he's all over the grid. He did the best thing. Get out of this safely. Get out. For your winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated, Jacob Go.